got daddy's hey. pants on. Carlo's been doing this thing lately where like she just says the same word over and over and over and over again. And it is like, it seriously drives me up a wall. Oh, wait, you gotta get finish it. Hug me. Give mama a hug. Oh, that's so sweet, thank you. Do the bare minimum today, but I am just, just wanna sit here and do nothing all day. <laughs> your slippers on you can't put pants on very well okay so we have to take these off before you can put daddy's pants on all right so you're gonna pull the back right here and pull your heel out see that okay try this one can you take that one off how mommy showed you the back right here right here see this little piece you pull that off like this okay and now you can put daddy's pants on you're frustrated, just ask for help. Say help, please. Okay? Okay. There we go. You gotta hold it. You got daddy's pants on. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you gotta hold them up. Okay, I gotta get your brother. Enjoying a little outside time before one of my kids wakes up. I've got both of them sleeping right now on the same schedule, which is really cool. But Wyatt's pretty much always sleeping, so. Life's been really good lately. Um, I mean, a lot of things are changing, a lot of things are happening, so I'll kind of let you in on some of that throughout this video. But um, I would like to say that my um, bedroom life is back in full swing, which has been really great. So um, I wanted to also thank Belessa for sponsoring today's video. I worked with them recently, um, well somewhat recently on Instagram and we did a really great giveaway. So we're here to do that again. So you can go to this link right here. I'll also put it in the description box and you can um, cash in and get either a gift card or a free toy. So you'll get one or the other. Everybody wins something. You won't leave empty handed. It has been really great. I got a giant package. Um, I shopped on the website and got a giant package delivered and it's a very discreet package. So I was like, wait, what is this? And then I opened it and I was like, oh boy, tonight's gonna be real fun. I love Balesa. is a bi woman company. Um, their mission is to empower everyone to just embrace, explore, and celebrate their sexuality, which I'm all about. One of my favorite toys right now is the AirVibe Pro. This thing is super cool. It's super flexible, which is awesome. It's very quiet. It comes in this super cute, discreet little clam case. Like no one's gonna know what this is, especially when you travel. It has a great little remote. Um, it has dual stimulation. Let me give you a little tip. Put a little bit of lube on there and that little sucker guy is gonna be your new best friend. You're welcome, thank me later. Um, this guy is also completely rechargeable and this one is uh, really bendable, which is great. It's for all shapes and sizes. Okay, this one's one of my favorites. This is called the Thump. This is also completely waterproof, so it's super versatile, but it has three things you can do with it. It suctions, it vibrates, and it thumps. Also, how funny is this case? Like, it looks like a little eyeglass case. I absolutely love how discreet this thing is. Um, this thing is super fun in the shower, in the bath, like whatever. It also has one of those chargers that like everyone has like a thousand of these little chargers laying around. So you'll always be charged up and ready to go. And I'll actually keep these in my electronics charging drawer because they're so discreet that anyone could go in that drawer and they're never going to know like what this guy is. This one is a favorite for sure. Back to some life updates. So definitely check out that giveaway. Um, I had a lot of fun with it last time because you guys were DMing me like pictures of like the gift card that you got and how much and like what you ended up picking out off the site or the free toy that you got. So it was a lot of fun. So definitely take advantage of that. Yeah, it's just been one of those like really challenging mornings, you know, where your kids are just both being really fussy and like really whiny. And like, Carlo's been doing this thing lately where 
like she just says the same word over and over and over and over again and it is like it seriously drives me up a wall. I need to get used to it because it's not gonna change anytime soon, I don't think. She sees an apple and she wants an apple. She's like, apple, 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 apple. And then she likes, it's like an emotional roller coaster, but the same word, um, it's kind of funny. I thought I would do a little day in the life video with you. I'm alone for the next three days. Nick went to work this morning for three freaking days. And there's just like a lot going on, a lot changing, a lot's in the works. Um, and so I just thought I would do like a little um, update video with you guys for you guys um, and take you along my day. It's kind of going to be a little bit quiet today and a little bit boring maybe because it is a Sunday. So some, I keep thinking it's Monday for some reason, maybe because Nick went back to work. I don't know. Okay. I'm actually baking outside here. I cannot believe how hot it is. So I'm going to head inside. <laughs> Don't touch him in the ice, please. A little bit of my health and fitness journey. Okay, so I have started with a um, meal prep company and it's done by a chef. And so they deliver my meals every single week and I get some for Nick as well. And it's been... It's been a little bit of a game changer because I just have not had time to cook food and I've been wanting to like eat healthy, but, and I love to cook, but I really like to save my, um, like creative cooking, I guess, for when Nick is home and I can make us some dinner. So this has been really nice. Like I don't have to think about it. I just grab the food and I think I'm actually going to try Pilates for the first time this coming upcoming week. I'm trying to just like get back into the groove, get back into things that like I want to do and like to do for like my own myself and my mental well-being so um I am also going to try to start you guys know I hate running right well I'm going to start trying to run like a mile five I should just say five miles a week because I'm going to try and do like one mile five days a week like each of those days so I don't know how this is going to go but I'm going to try it I have you know, a goal in mind that I'm not going to share right now, but I would just like to get back to my, uh, back to my old like routine, I guess, and like fit in my clothes again. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm excited about having food that's being delivered to me and that I don't have to cook. Like I just kept grabbing like things that I shouldn't be eating because it was like easy and quick and the kids are running around. Well, only one of them is running around. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm just like grabbing whatever is nearby that's like already made because it's just like easy to get into that rut when you have no time. So I'm going to pop this in the microwave. Let's see. And I have never done Pilates before. I'm excited to try it out. They have a beginner class. I found a, I found a place like kind of nearby. So they have a beginner class that I'm going to try. And then obviously I go to the gym also. So I'm hoping to do like um, I'm hoping to do Pilates if I enjoy it. I, I, I saw some YouTube videos. I think I'm going to enjoy it. Um, it looks like my kind of deal for sure. Like slower paced, like whatever. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try Pilates and see how that goes. I'm gonna get back to the gym. So hopefully I can do Pilates like twice a week and I can do the gym a couple times a week and then I can also run on the treadmill like five days a week or whatever. So that is the goal. I absolutely hate running, so wish me luck with that. All right, this should be done in a second. I'm gonna go eat, I'm starving. All right, the meal prep just got delivered. Let's see what we got. Oh, I just got my extensions done last week and it's like really tight right there, it's sore. Okay. Oh, grilled chicken teriyaki with some rice and um, broccoli. Me? This one's for, you want some of it? Are you hungry? You ready for lunch? Are you hungry? I'll get you food in a second, okay? This one's pan roasted chicken breast with duck fat parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> This one's for Nick, red wine, sh uh, red wine braised short ribs. 
And then everything in here is like a, that's the same, like the same thing, you know what I mean? They give you like a few of each, so sounds pretty good. I've been trying to figure out some things I can reuse these containers for other than just like food because I have tons of food containers already. So I just like get them every week and I just feel like it's super wasteful. I don't want to throw them away. You want some food? Are you losing it? Oh, I missed, I missed this one. There's also a peri-peri wild caught shrimp paella. That's also for Nick. Are you climbing in the fridge? What are you doing? What are you doing? Fruit, would you like some fruit? We've got some blueberries and strawberries. Fruit. Strawberries. Fruit. fruit. Show me how you dance with your fingers. Sit down, please. We don't stand in our high chair. It's not safe. Show me the dance we were just doing. For bubbles? bubbles? Heck yeah. Move. You say excuse me. You don't say move. Say excuse me, please. Move. Okay, thank you. Great for it. Yay! Bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> Carlos playing with some bubbles and I am looking at my Pinterest board to see what little activities we can do because I'm trying not to just do the bare minimum today, but I am just, just want to sit here and do nothing all day. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. What do we say when someone sneezes? Say bless you. All of these take a little bit of prep. Sometimes I try and prep this stuff while she's napping, but today I just really needed some time to like make my to-do list and whatnot while she was napping, so it did not happen. Shows the, the baby painting on the wall with like soapy water. I wanna try that one, I think that's a good one. A lot of these things they show like little kids playing, but like I feel like they, I, I feel like they wouldn't, like she, I couldn't really explain this to her well enough, you know, like maybe just a little bit more time. So let's, uh, while she's playing with bubbles, let's talk about nursing. So um, Wyatt is uh, like the first like week or two of his life, like obviously your milk is just like flowing. So it's really easy to get milk. But as my milk has regulated, his nursing has become increasingly more difficult and like very similar to Harlow's nursing, which was like just, she would just whine and cry and kick and scream and it was like not a great bonding experience. So we're actually getting um, his, uh, he's got like a tie on his upper lip all the way down to his, um, the bottom of his, um, where is Harlow? Harlow! There she is, she was behind a tree. 
Um, he's got a tongue tie or a lip tie basically all the way down to the bottom of his gums and I think that's causing him to have extra gas and just having a hard time latching now in general. So I think that's like the source of it, but I think we caught it like early enough. And so we're gonna go get it taken care of this week. So by the time you see this, we'll have already done that. So hopefully it's going well and doing good things for him. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Luckily, like I've had experience with this before. So I've done the lip tie, tongue tie, cheek tie thing before with Harlow. However, with her, um, I just was like, didn't really know what was going on and so I threw in the towel really with breastfeeding before I really gave it enough of a chance. Yeah, that's going to be on Wednesday. We're hosting a Friendsgiving this week as well, which is going to be super fun, but a lot of work. I bought like a big um, bingo box to do like a big bingo game, one for the kids, one for the adults. So I've got to get prizes for each of those. I'm not really sure what I'm going to get. I think I need to do a little stroll into Costco. Um, what else do I have to update you guys on? Our barn. So we're going to be building a very large barn on our property and we've been kind of going back and forth trying to figure out the septic situation because we've got to put a septic tank down there. But we are kind of bursting at the seams in this house so I'm very excited to like get that going and have a barn so that I can have all my animals out there in my office. Um, it's been increasingly hard to work with Harlow cruising around the house all day every day uh, it's just been challenging to like switch from like mom mode to like work mode it's just very distracting and at the end of the day I just kind of find myself not really getting as much done as I'd like to and I'm just not quite as productive as I could be so I'm looking forward to getting that done obviously it's not gonna be a quick process like I wish like I could just write a check and the barn would be and everything would be done but unfortunately it's just not how anything works really so it's gonna be a while until that gets done so Nick um, and I just bought a dirt bike yesterday so he's very excited because we were out at the desert a couple days ago and um, he had nothing to ride and all of his friends were out riding and he got to hang out with <laughs> it was so funny my friend Taylor and I were sitting in the motorhome nursing and we're talking about like nursing and letdowns and all that kind of stuff. And he's like, yeah, that's the pool. Pool. Please? We can go swimming when daddy's here. I can't really do swimming and you and Wyatt all at the same time. So when daddy's here, we'll go swimming, okay? So anyways, we got him a bike and he's very excited to go out to the desert and actually ride that and like get to go out with his friends. But we were sitting in there just talking about like breastfeeding. Yeah. Oh, this is trash now that it's empty? This is trash? <laughs> okay, stand up. You're gonna fish some of these out. <laughs> okay, so... So, you can use the spoon and scoop it out and put it in the bowl. Okay? You see? Scoop it out. Put it in the bowl. Scoop. Scoop. Good job. Put it in the bowl. Good job. Yay. You got three. Good job. Put it in the bowl. Good job. Okay, get another one. Pick it up. Put it in the bowl. Good job. I just hit a wall. I am so ex so exhausted. I did not sleep well. Are you ready for a snack? Okay, I'll get you some pretzels. She loves pretzels. Um, yeah, you're gonna get up there. Just give me one second, okay? I did not sleep well camping at all the first night. Okay, story time real quick. Let me go get her pretzels. Um, the first night we were there, um, Nick tried to make this like really cool bed for Harlow like above the, the, um, the driver's side and passenger seats and it was really cool but I kept telling him I'm like she's not I don't think she's old enough for, for this like and so sure enough she kept trying to squish her face out of the sides and it was like just like too um it was just too like open, like she could, I feel like she could have fallen out. So I stayed and watched to see what, you know, he didn't think she could have, I did. You know how it goes. Those of you that have children probably have had those disagreements with your husband basically where you're like, yeah, that's not gonna work or, you know, or that's too, that's 
not safe or whatever. And they're like, no, 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 it is, it is. And you don't want to like tell them what to do, but you're like, this, this isn't going to work. And it was that. And so then, um, hold please, let me get her these. So then I had to go get him to get her, her pack and play. And we put that together. She went right down. And then, um, it was so hot that night. I couldn't even believe, I was like sweating. So for hours I was just sweating. The bed is much smaller in the motorhome. Nick snores, it was pretty gnarly. And um, uh, then Piper was pacing back and forth just panting because it was so hot in there. And it shouldn't have been hot. Like we only have two small windows in the back of our motorhome, which kind of sucks. Like when we buy a new one, I'm definitely be looking for more windows in the back. But then I was like, okay, we have to put like Piper in the bathroom. There's a vent open here. It'll be cooler for her. It'll be less loud for us. So we put her in there and I just hear her and some agua. I hear her just pant, like not only panting, but like heaving in the middle of the night. Like she's like throwing up and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And I'm just like wedged in this little bed between the baby and Nick. And then early in the morning, like at four or something like that, um, Nick goes into the bathroom and Har and Harley, I mean, Piper has literally pooped just like liquid diarrhea all over the floor and has puked in like three different piles. And I was just so hot. Like I got no sleep. And then the next night, like, I don't know. I just also got no sleep. So I am absolutely exhausted. Um, we had a time change today, so we lost an hour as well. So I'm really tired. I was like, oh, maybe like I'll take her to the park today. Maybe I'll do something like, I don't have energy. I'm so tired. So yeah, no, we're not doing any of that. We're gonna stay at home. Um, let me figure out why she's lo losing it right now and make sure there's some more pretzels when she needs them because she is very demanding of her pretzels. Well, oh my gosh, my head is so tiny. Um, we're trying to go on a walk right now. I don't know if why it's gonna settle though. I got. We got Harlow's shoes on, we're ready to go. I'm not sure if he's gonna settle down though. If he's not, then I gotta figure something out. We'll have to forego the walk. We'll see, we'll see, wish us luck. I look like a little kid in a hat. Like what is going on? I have the tiniest head. This is why I don't wear hats. I look so silly in them. It's gonna serve a purpose right now though with all this sun. Job. Here is my meal prep dinner. We got some teriyaki chicken, some white rice, and some broccoli. Um, gosh, I don't know what time it is, but I'm gonna be putting Harlow to bed soon. She's watching Curious George right now while I eat dinner. Um, I usually eat with her, but the timing just didn't work tonight but she'll probably come by for a bite, she always does. Ended up putting Harlow to sleep because it's 6.30, 7.30 for her. And now I'm gonna eat and watch Love is Blind and have some time to myself, hopefully. <laughs> to possibly get that one mile run in today or tonight I should say but I have unfortunately not really been able to get this little one settled uh, well I am going to see if I can get this guy settled again so I can kind of relax and watch a little bit of TV but um, I'm not too sure it seems like his stomach's kind of bothering him so where's your oh are you trying to suck on my arm maybe we need to nurse now okay <laughs> He's literally trying to suck on my arm. It's the cutest thing. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Mm. 